Welcome to Find Truth 88. Uh, tonight I want to share a very quick message. But I, I want to say something, you know, as I go to my Amazon Fire Stick, you know, I haven't sh shared a whole lot of messages here lately, but uh, there has been quite a bit brewing uh, uh, on my heart. The Lord has been speaking uh, uh, many things on my heart. Uh, you know, as I go to the Amazon Fire Stick and I open up the YouTube app, and then, you know, as the recommended videos come floating across, you see a lot of drama, you see a lot of foolishness, you see a lot of things that are not of God, you know, and it's so easy to get caught up in that wave, in that movement of silliness, in that wave of drama, uh, in the in the breeze of uh, talking points. Because sometimes talking points can sound so cool. It's so easy to get into that distraction. But I, I really believe it's extremely important to have that quiet time with the Lord. Because when you give the Lord time, he will redirect your, your, your focus. He will, re he will redirect your focus. I think about Peter in Matthew chapter 14. He started to take steps on the water. Focused on Jesus. His eyes on Jesus. But then as he, as he started, he was, take, he was walking on the water. On that stormy sea. But when he took his eyes off Jesus, see, there's so many things that can cause us to take our eyes off Jesus. Now, th there's been a lot going on on the Internet. And, you know, I, I, I'm I aware of, of some of the things. I don't, I'm not paying a whole lot of attention to it because here it is. Let me let me share this with you. This is the Lord has really taken me a, a really different direction. Uh, I want to take you to First Peter, uh, chapter one, and I'm going to share this, uh, 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 Lord willing, if I have the time, uh, uh, in, in the next couple of days, I'm going to share this message. But as of right now, let's let me share a couple of verses with you, just so you see where I'm going here. First uh, Peter chapter one verse six, wherein you greatly rejoice, though now. For a season, if need be, you are in heaviness through manifold t temptations. Verse 7, that the trial of your faith, being much more precious than that of, of gold that perishes, though it be tried with fire. Are, are there any of you out there who feel like you're going through the fire? Are there any of you out there who feel like you're going through a storm? Lord, when will this end? I've been praying and praying and praying and seeking your face. Lord, when will you answer? I've been faithfully seeking you. Diligently seeking you. Trusting you. Waiting on you. But Lord, I'm, I'm still in this trial. I'm still in this. I'm still going through this valley. I think about Psalms 23. Every time, every time I bring up the valley, I think about Psalms 23. Yea, though I go through the valley. I like to say, if you're going through a valley, then keep on going. Because the, the Lord has not called us to set up tent in the valley. He has called us to continue on through the valley. So if you're in the valley, praise the Lord and keep on going through the valley. Seasons change. Yes, it rains on the just and the unjust, but seasons change. Let me continue on here in 1 Peter chapter 1, verse 7. That the trial of your faith being much more precious than that of gold that perishes. 
that your, your faith to the Lord is, is much more precious than that of gold. Hmm. Though it be tried with fire, might be found unto the praise and honor and glory at the appearing of Jesus Christ. You know, when I read that, I think about Luke 18, 8. And keep it, keep Luke 18, 8 in context with verses 1 through 7, 1 through 8. That, that widowed woman, that persistent woman who refused to give in, who refused to give up, that, that unjust, ju the unjust judge kept giving her that no and no. No, I will not avenge you of your of your adversary. No, go away, woman. She kept on coming back. And finally, this unjust judge, just to get this woman off of, off of his back, he said that th this woman will, will weary me by her continual coming. And Jesus making a point here, how much more will our just heavenly father Avenge us. How much more will our just heavenly father hear our cries? So we're not going to wear God down, but God honors our faith. Jesus went on to say in Luke 18, 8, that when, a, when the son of man returns, shall he find faith, faith on the earth. Is he going to find you seeking him, desiring him, wanting him, following him, trusting him? I think about Psalms chapter 1, verse 1, verse 2, verse 3. Blessed is the man who trusts who trust in the Lord. Look that up. Look, look, look that passage up. I'm not going to read it right now I, I, I will probably go into that maybe in a couple of days but also i want to take you to uh as i end the message i want to take you to psalms chapter 40 i'm going to read a few verses here and again i'll end the message with this psalms 40 verse 1 I'm going to read through verse 4 here. I waited patiently for the Lord. Oh, let me stop right there. I waited patiently for the Lord. You know, sometimes we got to we got to we just have to do some waiting and waiting and seeking and seeking. We got to dwell in the secret place. You know, with that secret place, you don't have that crowd hanging around, flapping their lips. In the secret place, you're not going with the flow. In the secret place, YouTube may be going this direction and talking about this and that and all the drama this and drama that and all the silly things that really you shouldn't be getting fooled by anyway. You know, many people on YouTube were talking about exposing these false teachers, exposing these beggars. You know, and then on my heart, it's like, well, maybe we should expose the followers of these people who make them popular. Sometimes we can get off point. How do these people get so popular? Because they have this large group of followers who are not dwelling in the secret place they're not seeking the lord so many professing christians refuse to dwell in the secret place they refuse to seek the lord god almighty they refuse to wait patiently on the lord so they run to what's popular because they think they're gonna get a drive-through answer they think they're gonna get a burger king answer have it they have it my way they they want it their way instead of the king of kings it's burger king they got that burger king faith but burger king faith ain't going to get you nothing but heartache i waited patiently for the lord and he inclined 
unto me and heard my cry. He brought me. Oh, I love this. I love, I'm telling you, I love this passage. Hmm. He brought me up also out of a horrible pit, out of the miry clay, and set my feet upon a rock, and establish my goings. Verse 3. Oh, I love this verse. And he put a new song in my mouth. Even praise unto our God. Many shall see it. See, when we get delivered, when we get set set free, it's undeniable. Folks are going to see it. Folks are going to see us. Folks are going to see the hand, of the hand of the Lord has moved in our life. They're, they're going to notice that the hand of God has moved in our life. Undeniably, many shall see it and fear, and shall trust in the Lord. Verse 4, Blessed is the man that makes the Lord his trust, and respecteth not the proud, nor such as turn aside to lies. Well, that's my message uh, tonight. Um, in a couple of days, again, Lord willing, in a couple of days, I'm going to dig into this. So um, I encourage you just to kind of meditate in the secret place on these verses. Seek the Lord. Don't seek Marcus. Don't seek anyone else. Seek Jesus. Thank God for teachers. Thank God for those who point us to Jesus. But we must have a personal walk and relationship with the Lord Jesus Christ. Well, until then, I just pray that the grace, peace, and, and not just till then, but I just pray that the grace, peace, and love of our Lord Jesus Christ be with you day in and day out. That his angels be camped round about you. And that, that your feet won't even dash up against the stone. Blessed is the man who trusts in the Lord. Let that be you. Let that be us. A remnant rising up, refusing to follow the crowd anymore, but hungering the Lord Jesus Christ, the Lord God Almighty.